Today, I'm discussing the basic concepts in accounting. They are business entity, money measurement, going concern, periodicity, cost, duality, realization, matching, full disclosure, consistency, conservatism, materiality, and objectivity. Taking them one after the other. 1. Business Entity This concept separates the business from its owners. Owner and the business are two separate entities. This helps to differentiate business transactions from personal ones. 2. Money Measurement This concept states that only business transactions that can be expressed in monetary terms will be recorded. Any other transaction no matter how significant, will not find a place in the books of account. 3. Going Concern This concept assumes that a business will continue to operate indefinitely. It assumes that, for the foreseeable future, the business will not be winding up. This gives the assumption that business will not have to sell its assets anytime soon and it will meet its obligations. So, it justifies financial statement as a continuous series of statement. 4. Periodicity Every organization chooses a specific period of time to complete an accounting cycle. Generally, the time chosen is what we call the end of the accounting year. It will continue at regular interval, usually a year. The time period is mentioned in the financial statement. This facilitates comparison of performances. 5. Cost This concept states that all assets of the firm are recorded at the purchase prices, cost of acquisition plus transport plus installation, etc. With this concept, the market prices are not taken into consideration. 6. Duality This concept is a basic principle of accounting. For every debit entry, there must be a corresponding credit entry and vice versa. Every transaction will be recorded in two places. If a company purchases an asset, the transaction will be recorded in both asset account and cash or bank account. 7. Realization According to this concept, the revenue is recognized when it is realized. Revenue is the cash inflow of a business arising from sales of goods and services. In simpler terms, the profit earned will be recorded when it is actually earned. 8. Matching This concept states that revenue and expenses in the same accounting period should be matched. First, revenue is recognized, and then we match the costs associated with the revenue. 9. Full Disclosure This concept states that all relevant information will be disclosed fully in the accounting statement. A lot of external users depend on these financial statements to make investment decisions, so no relevant information or transaction must be omitted from these financial statements. 10. Consistency This concept states that once a company decides on a certain accounting policy, it should not be frequently changed. Unless there's a statutory requirement or it allows a better representation of the accounts. The policies should be consistent for a long period of time. This allows users to make good investment decisions. 11. Conservatism This concept promotes prudence in accounting. It states that profit should not be included until realized. However, losses, even those not yet realized but the remote possibility of occurring, should be included in the financial statement. In summary, all losses are recognized, but only realized profits are recognized. 12. Materiality This concept states that all material facts must be a part of the accounting process. But immaterial facts can be left out. The material of a transaction depends on its nature, value, and significance to users. If the information can affect investment decision, it is a material fact. 13. Objectivity. This concept states that the person recording accounting transactions should not be biased. So, each transaction must be verifiable by supporting documents like vouchers, bills, etc. This is the end of this lecture. By now, you should know about the basic concepts in accounting.